kingdom's cost Yet in his hand, the insult burns A flicker of hope as the world turns But my fury stands, indifferent and cold For a king who let my blessing unfold Good morning, everyone. I'm waking up in a new day, Thursday. And, you know, I keep waiting for Monday so I can make Monday jokes, but it's uh, Thursday, so Thursday jokes, not mean Thursday jokes written. Sorry, guys. I'm already yawning. I suck. I am canceling so many videos because I keep yawning during them. Uh, not because modeling is boring, but I'm just modeling to exhaustion, and then I'm still going. So, a... Um, if you're finding other things that are more passion oriented, of course, stick with them. But my goal is to make Insolve the most passion burning project out right now. So if you're in this, you're going to see a man with a passion burning like a million suns. Uh, otherwise, uh, I mean, my passion still burns with Hops Cutter. I will still be keeping them maintained beautifully, no doubt. All right. But inflow is the focus. And also converting hops into blocks, also a focus. So, you know, before we do all of this, let us um, clean the mesh, just just because. And let's try that. And when I return to my natural configuration, it just feels good, guys. Like I've been using other people's configurations, and it's like being drunk, um, which is what happened to me yesterday. Um, I had a buddy with a birthday party, and. <laughs> I'm such a jerk, you guys. I go to people's birthday parties to remind them that their birthdays are insignificant, that life's insignificant, that they're insignificant. You know, I'm terrible. But instead, I actually had to get all the time. You know, my friends are used to me. They know what they're dealing with. They know that um, I'm, I'm a take it or leave it kind of guy. So, yeah, we had a great time. In fact, it was my birthday uh, not too long ago. And so they gave me a gift and I was like, not trying to unwrap it because first of all I didn't know it was actually a gift for me that's how little I think of myself but they're like no this is a gift for you I was like a gift for me you know I got caught up in the consumerism uh, all moment of things you know which I try to fight because uh, consumerism is the uh, driving force behind everything and I hate it you know I'm trying to fight that urge and be individual and to do that you gotta you gotta resist the consumerism the endless consumerism I mean by the end of the night, I was in the birthday spirit, you know, birthday spirit, meaning what do you want for your birthday? You know, that's usually the goal of uh, everybody's birthday with me is for me to ask these people, ask people, hey, what do you, what do you want? What do you want for your birthday? So we'll just grab all of these edges and we see that we cannot. So let's bring shift into the mix and we are getting something like that we will flow out and just know that I'm going to come back with a configuration built around checker deselecting and circle reduction also i am looking at this and thinking wow boy do we need that circle reducer that we were discussing previously like we really need it like the system to recircle an area uh it has to be thought out has to exist so you know I, I get a whole bunch of um discouraging comments in between and you know what's crazy is if um if i just accepted that and was like yeah uh, people hate me and ha hate the attempt and they hate all the ideas uh, that would actually make my job a lot easier like I would be able to just go on with my life but instead I have to go the other way because it's baked into the cake uh, you'll hear me say that all the time now it's baked into the cake for people to be jerks uh, is it's, you know wasn't baked into cake for people to be hung up on generative AI I thought that everyone had kind of just accepted that we're we're basically all dead men and you know, if you want to prosecute me for anything, uh, persecute me for basically having the nihilistic view that we're all dead. We're all dead. You know, I'm over here listening to AI music, starting me on my daily trek, and yeah, we're dead, guys. We're all dead. We're skeleton warriors. And so it's not even the worst thing in the world. It's just we do have to think about how we want to make it as skeleton warriors because, uh, you know, I say skeleton warriors because they're sucking all the meat out of us. They're sucking all the marrow. They're taking life away. And this is all the implications I had to think about when I came back. Like, I want to do dedicated content to this. And I see that, you know, I should have. I should have started off doing a video being like, hey, guys, this is my experience with AI. And I thought so, but I was like, people are going to be like, so what? Who cares? 
we've already accepted it that's what i was thinking and that's why i didn't do the video not because i was like being a secret squirrel even though i am a total secret squirrel like i am a secretive squirrel um you know i i prefer to only deal with people who are um first of all alive like on the hops cord it's basically filled with dead people is what i call it like it's just everyone on there is just not alive and that's fine i'm not talking smack about them i'm just saying like we are lurked by more people who are waiting to catch a screenshot of me saying something spicy than we are with users talking about bevel so it's just part of the part of life you know everybody's just going to be unamused with me and disappointed you know welcome to knowing me you know you should you should go talk to my, i was gonna say my dad but my dad actually gives zero f's about anything to do with me or not, not in a bad way either he's just an old man he's like 82 like i say in content like um why would he care about 3d uh he just wears a hops hat the hops trucker hat he just wears the hat and that's it so he's just an old man um i look at him and i think man i'm gonna be that style of old man someday i'm gonna just be just give me a beer beer me bro that'll be the type of old man i own you know so it's not the worst worst outcome but when I was younger, I used to be a lot more resistive to it. Like, I will never be like you. But, you know, I look at people who don't know computers now, and I'm like, am I the baddie when I'm trying to teach a person computer? Because in my real life, I try to force computers into everybody's life. Like, when I visit with them, I'm like, listen, you need a computer. They're like, why? I'm like, uh, you, you got to figure that out. But here's a computer to figure it out. So... You know, it, I'm not saying this even like a flex. I'm saying like, I am crazy about people needing computers. Like, when I look at homeless people, I'm like, man, I wonder what I could do to get them on Blender. Like, for real, it's like, you know, I still look at the asset mines, and I'm like, yo, are people tripping? Are people acting like the asset mines ain't a thing anymore? We used to make memes about it back in the day. They'd be like, oh, Jerry went off to the asset mines. Like, yeah, I had to go to the asset mine, mine guys, but I'm back now. You know, what happened to the asset mines? Asset mines gone? No, the asset mines are just different. Like, this gun that we're working on started off worthless, at least to me. Like, it may be worth something to you. You might be like, yeah, I, I paid $5 for it, but the final result version? Hey, ask me for that for free. You know, because that version is not worth $5. Like, the original version of this gun? Worthless, at least to me, on an asset level. Like, if I saw it in a store, and they were like, yo, I'm selling this asset dog I'd be like well, you could I'll tell you where you can put that asset it looks terrible you know me and my friends are the player haters ball we'll start tearing apart that top open like look at this guy the audacity to sell us such meshery right and any price would be unacceptable so we jump over and we're just selecting let's try it again but by the end of this the mesh will will be worth something I mean not to you but to our Skynet masters, like I was thinking about doing a tutorial about Skynet modeling, you know, there's always a error to deal with. So let me pause this and send this. All right, and we're back to work. In fact, you can tell kind of my mood by how I deal with bugs, you know, because if I'm like, oh, it's just a bug, guys, it ain't nothing. Hey, I'm, I must be in a good mood. Um, must have got some sweet loving, all right. We'll go ahead and pull that out. But we need to be able to work on this with multiple loops, obviously. Um, and that's part of the report. I mean, and the thing is, is that that's why I was saying in a previous video, I'm like, yo, project loop's dead to me. And it's because, like, I need the scope to jump to now do multiple objects at the same time. And now that I see that there's limitations based on architectural uh, choices, yeah, it's dead. You know, once people start saying, hey, it's because of choices made in the very foundation i'm like okay please get this out of here please get this out of here no insult no insult intended but the customers expect results they don't expect excuses like um hopefully i don't ever y'all catch me coming back in a video talking about oh yeah i can't do it because of limitations like first of all that iteration needs to go slide that iteration out of here bam that iteration is limited iteration gone um also i'm gonna try to bring up screencast keys all right my bad about that and keycap keys might display, might not. I mean, really, I'm looking to replace this program with any program that just opens every time. Like, I probably have to reboot my computer just to get it to work. And I don't like that either.
But yeah, now I'm going to have to do, I have so many videos I plan on doing. Like, I want to do videos that are talking about modeling, but obviously there's some uh, top 10 stuff I want to do. Like, I want to do top 10 things I was surprised about, top 10 comments, you know, start responding to comments, um, doing the comment segment, you know, which would be fun. Don't be a jerk. I'm not going to respond to that. I mean, if I am, I'm going to be making fun of you for being a uh, toxic entity and to be basically textbook rain. You know, no one should be rain. Rain is a joke. You shouldn't be rain. But people are, of course, going to be rain. And rain just refers to just people, just, just crabs in a bucket, man. They hate. All you can do is hate. Sometimes that's all you can do. You know, I almost say, hey, that means that person's been using Blender a long time. Like, that person's coming at me with vitriol and hate. Ooh, they've been using Blender a minute. And they have some knowledge. They, bo they could probably tell you why Blender sucks. Um... Because everybody has their... Anyone who's used Blender... Yeah, of course, they, they are like, yo, Blender sucks because of this. Um, and, of course, it's a uh, Schrodinger's cat situation. Like, we don't know what makes it suck. Uh, we don't know how it sucks. And we're just looking at this. And I'm just thinking about how we can repeat this here. Uh, you know, we're going to have to use a little box cutter and just do some brain surgery. This isn't my greatest idea, but, you know, uh, we'll turn off Verdi Mergy and we are going to just do some brain surgery. Uh, just thinking on the fly right now, but basically there's a checkpoint goal in this tool called Solution Engine. And, you know, I sound stupid when I talk about things while they're still in my head, but the fact that I'm not letting it go means that I'm a pit bull. Um, insert cruel pit bull jokes here I'm sorry um, not saying pit bull jokes are funny but I plan to never let go of the objective even though I should even though I must um, and even though every time I say that they're like what does that mean and I'm like it means reuse a solution it means reuse the hell out of a solution. It means make a solution and let's reuse it. I mean, real basic to me, to me, you know, and I say it to others and they're like, that's not basic. You described another product skew. Like, oh, my bad. Let's select this and we jump over and, you know, I was legit thinking that collapse was needing a rewrite the other day. And that's how fast it'll happen for me. Like, I'll get mad at a function. I'm like, get this function out of here. I don't even want to press the button to run it anymore. That's how mad I just got at it. Uh, whenever things, whenever bugs happen. So, sometimes I'm in a really good mood. And I'm like, oh, it's just a bug. Like, right now, I'm like, yeah, this bug's fine. Because uh, Russia's getting attacked by Ukraine. And, you know, they're, they're about to have some other problems. Greater problems. And... Uh, we tried to reuse this and it just didn't work out. Let's just uh, separate it into a new object and we're going to try this again. Because we need all of the geometry. You know, I'm about to rebuild it. I'm like, what the hell am I about to do? I ain't about to do that. I'll tell you that. Uh, how accurate does it need to be? You're like, yo, for this particular gun, you got to be accurate within a micrometer. Yeah, but what's in your pants aside, what do I have to do with the gun, though? No. Just kidding. But, you know, I can't be talking about micro stuff and not throw a small micro joke in there. I mean, come on. Some of these jokes write themselves right into the garbage can. But, yeah, I'm still in awe over um, generative AI reactions because I was so over it. I would got over it. That's what how, how I got back to work. I was like seriously depressed. I was like, wow. So you're saying our greatest efforts that we are yet to even attempt will just be scraped, auto-scraped. We're just gonna be auto-scraped. I'm not thinking, oh, the government's gonna save me, ever. Cause you know, the government does not save us. It saves us with flamethrowers, it saves us with uh, bad water filters, you know, and it saves us. It just depends on how you define save. Um, I define save as the government saying the hell away from me. Uh, it's like, wow, the government really did me a favor not getting in my uh, face or assisting me with my land dispute. Government never, ever results in anything good here, except the government itself resulting in here. 
you know. And that's just, I was reading all these books, guys, and I, mean, I started deciding to read a book about the U.S. presidents, right? I was like, ooh, this is going to make me pro-American. Like, I'm going to get my American spirit back. Boy, the words between the lines sadden me, guys. Sadden me. I mean, you know, the book was about George Washington just crossing the nation and just having a good old time. Just a big old national soiree, right? They also went over all the times that he was uh, offered a chance to uh, end slavery and all the times that, you know, they basically made very commercial decisions for the future of mankind uh, based on racial idiocy. It's just like, wow, you know, I always thought George Washington was on the up and up. But no, you know, even at the age of 17, he's like, hey, I still need these slaves. And I mean, I get it, you know, times, right? You know, if you're a slave apologist, then, um, <laughs> hey, you got other problems you should be, <laughs> be dealing with. But in my case, I'm like, wow, this book is uh, not flattery, but flattering between the lines. Like, I wonder how it feels to other people who read it. They're probably like, oh, yeah, George Bush. I mean, not George Bush. George Bush is another rant. But they're like, yeah, George Washington is great. I'm like, wait a minute. Between the lines, this sounds not good. Maybe I'm the wrong skin color. And I'm not saying I'm like pro-black or anything. I'm not like a weirdo. But I was just like, wait a minute. This book doesn't feel very uh, human. It's just, it was just a, 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 just a strange feel. And I mean, if you read it, you'd probably get the uh, different vibe. You'd be like, oh yeah, this book's great. You know, you'd be reading Travels with George. You'd be like, oh yeah, we're just traveling with George. It's like, wait, he walked across the nation with all his slaves in front of him. And they were getting bit by snakes and dying and getting lost and you know he was finding them and beating them and wait a minute what kind of walk across the nation is this um like i used to have a dream that i wanted to walk the land that george washington walked on and i mean i still might you know in fact the plan was uh if insol just didn't work out i would just do like this great walk and now it's like well if the tool works out i guess i'm still gonna have to do that great walk like you know, like I've said, I'm always I'm always talking about getting in shape and being fit, and part of that is, um, you know, to do legendary walks, to just get out, put one foot in front of the other. You know, my dad, despite his age, he walks. He does not drive. He he will never drive a car. You know, whenever I get him to chat, he's like, "Yeah, when I was a kid, wagons, wagons became a thing." I'm like, word, wagons, word thing. He's like, you watch wagons take over? He's like, yeah, watch them kill my brother. I'm like, oh, is that how it goes? You just lose brothers to wagons, Pa? You know, I call him Paul. You know, I get real country. You know, it's just funny. It's like, Pa. You know, I'm, I'm just kidding. I do say, Father! Like, um, uh, Matt, uh, what is his name? Uh, from the IT crowd. Matt Berry, you know, whenever he's talking about Renum, he's like, Father! Yeah, I just say the same thing. He doesn't get it, because he has no sense of humor. Um, he's worse than me. I, I have a sense of humor. I have nothing but a sense of humor. But, you know, we're just BSing here. You know, what are we talking about? Pulling a button? Y'all want me to talk about pulling a button? Just kidding. I'm telling you, that that's the part, you know, that's what I expect controversy with, is people saying, why aren't you talking about keys anymore? Um, and I would re refer to a hundred videos where I'm like, hey, I will do videos all day if I talk about no damn hotkeys. And we're going to have to watch uh, what we're selecting with this because uh, the wrong one will uh, ruin our day. And I'm actually holding alt and shift. And when it comes to these hotkeys, I will rock blender hard early. Like I will wake up, roll into raw dog blender and just be able to kill it with these hotkeys but you know right now the time is seven o'clock i've been modeling since like five not not in a braggadocious way in a i got modeling problem sort of way buy the tool please um and these hotkeys will wear down on me right and like by noon i'm i'm flowing i'm i'm i'm, I'm in flowing so you know one of the things i always think about too is um how much money people have in their pocket because it's a thing I discuss with everyone making a product. I'm like, hey, how much money do you think your customer has in their pocket? 
my monetary theory is twenty dollars if you got twenty dollars in your pocket you're probably the average person like um i was talking to my woman yesterday she's like hey you want this uh, fifteen dollars i was like look if you give it to me i'm going to give it to a homeless person and i'm not even saying that's the best choice uh you know i'm just giving it to them and not even like asking them questions which is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be asking them questions about their situation in their life to improve my understanding. Like, I, you know, I'm not even altruistic. I'm like a um, curious person. I'm like curious. Um, you know, one day I do want to be um, just eating with people and just talking to them about the circumstances and just really helping them uh, put, put them to... Um, you know, sanity and, and to recap it in a sane way because, you know, I watch so many homeless videos and I'm like, wow, this is the fate of all of us. Like, I mean, I think that's probably also one of the differences. Like, I mean, I'm telling you, if I started doing videos expressing my straight views, y'all would be like, wow, MX has zero hope for the world or the future. No wonder he's um, just giving up. And I'm, look, I'm not even giving up. Y'all are seeing me with my Ichigo level resolve. Like, I'm not even in the giving up state anymore. Uh, that was before when I was uh, away. I was like, you know what? I just maintain this tool. I just give up, silently be in the shadows. Started seeing screenshots of some of the worst support mail assistants ever. And I'm like, wait a minute. My customers are being a little, little, little. Mm. I, can't, I can't let this be. I can't let this be how it goes. Um, surely all of these negative situations can result in an opportunity. That's just my perspective. Like sometimes bad things happen and I'm like, okay, this is an opportunity. Like seriously, seriously, serious bad things will happen. Like world ending stuff. And I'm like, yo, about to get hard, about to get harder. Uh, and you know, that that's something I recommend for everyone. Like, you know, we, uh, a, a very popular meme talked about on the discord is how strong times create weak men, etc. But I do believe that, you know, we have to all find our own strength and become stronger like now like we have to stop whining we have to just get with the program like right now because the, the opportunities are dwindling and you know if you don't get that then yeah it's fine just come back to it but you know the world is gonna melt and we could either melt with it or we can um just keep on keeping on and my goal is always keeping on you know, when it's someone's my birthday, hey, when I was hanging out with my buddy yesterday, he's like, hey, you didn't even wish me happy birthday. I was like, uh, well, that would reveal that I care. And also, this is a surprise birthday party, so I had to not say happy birthday. Of course, I care about your birthday. You're my Resident Evil buddy, you know. <laughs> that, that, that's what it comes down to. In fact, I couldn't help but having a talk with him about, hey, we should hang out. We should play some Resident Evil 6. I got a buddy who plays Resident Evil 4. He doesn't know how to play 6 yet, so I got to raise him up in the ways of Resident Evil 6. And, you know, that means once I got to do my once a year Resident Evil 6 adventure. Not saying story mode. If you say that, hey, MX is playing MX story mode, boy, I will get mad. Those are fighting words. Don't be making me sound like I'm one of those basic normies. I am not playing. I only play mercenaries. And I think I found a song I'm listening to right now that would be the uh, intro. Like, I'm hoping that the intros make people think that I'm like a lunatic. Um, but, of course, I'm in normal life, I am very sane. Most of the time. I'm mostly sane. I only get insane when there's bugs galore. Because it's like, come on, you guys. Um, and it's all because of, um, you know, invoices. You know, I pay that invoice. What are these bugs doing in my face? What are these bugs doing in my face? Um, invoice time. What are these bugs doing in my face? Um, you know, and I hate to ask those questions around invoice time, right? Because that's like weird. So from here, we are just going to jump all the way across, even though it's not the best. And I have a so many videos on backlog that I should do like I might start doing the sleepy MX content because I'm telling you I was I'd be modeling some stuff late night just uh, trying to really just do some after hours training on myself because I see that I'm gonna have to be greater than I am I am currently um, and 
who knows maybe I'll be a loser maybe I'll be a loser and I will just become nothing right like that would be totally hilarious right like um, you know if there's a guy who you're about to watch his dreams die I would buy that tool I would buy that tool to watch his dreams die um, just because you know a that is a good time but in this every day that passes um, where it, it gets a little bit further the concept and as a result we uh, you know I'm looking at this I'm like I could cut this and mirror this and array this around if I got my mind together but we're just having a little fun here which is adding loops and you know I need to use a little bit more in suite so you know let's bring that baby in and are there loops over there nope we'll put one there and you know really the, the bandolier what we're learning right now is that we need the bandolier to be more accessible you know everything's going to culminate in us making like a very custom pie menu for our needs um i'm not the biggest fan of pie menus as you know i'm a menus guy and adding menus i think would be too easy like if i add a menu system it will just make the tool too easy so we're trying to have fun here and we also want to do things that are um I don't even know how to describe it, but we do want to try things that are a little bit more unusual before we do the cliches. Uh, when people are like, yo, can you add a hotkey system, a menu system, and all this? I'm like, oh, that's the cliche stuff. That's what people expect. And once that's there, then the tool will look a lot more uh, normal. And we're trying to have it in a um, custom state for a moment, just while we uh, fully analyze what we're dealing with here, and we just put all the pieces together. But I know that's a weird way to work, and that's why um, the product is what it is now. But once the scope is nailed down, no more scope talk. Just kidding, but there'll always be scope, scope talk, right? I'm just looking at that thinking, you know, that will work, and we just want to move. There's probably an anti-MX faction out there. That's what I'm, I've been thinking about lately. I'm like, what? Still? You know, because I was offline for like a long period of time. Like my goal was to separate myself from the social media addiction that's feeding the Borg. So, I mean, I'm now separated from my social media desires, which feels very free. Um, I know this probably sounds stupid. You're like, what? It's like, no, look, I was addicted to posting all the time and basically getting validation in the form of likes and that very thing is what's getting us uh grabbed by ai you know they're playing off of our own vanity there used to be jokes in the past about the government watching us and then you know in the end it became us willingly giving them the data like that is definitely what we're dealing with now and i mean there's other ways i could be doing this that is more effective i mean if we're looking at this on a speedrunner level i'm like failing like this is like um i forget the youtuber's name um summon no oh, no i'm thinking of a i'm thinking of a band but summoning salt there we go yeah he would uh be making fun of this and you know talk, talking about this being kind of a normie run but you know a long time ago i was watching the xl grand championships and i was like xl xl has championships what in the world xl has championships look modeling needs championships you know there's like so many things that were part of why this tool was made but if you think that i make tools because i see other tools and i'm like okay i want tools based off of them then that's a really low view to have of me and also a low view to think of why i would make tools because there's there's so much more to it than that you know i'm not just looking at other tools i'm like okay i want that tool right there because if i was doing it that way it'd be so hollow so empty and not very fun but instead, um, we, we were, I was thinking of a problem. I was like, ooh, that's a problem right there. And we could make a tool around problems and solutions, you know. And it would differ from the previous use by this, this, and this. And it would be able to grow via this, this, and this. And, you know, in my head, very sound plan. In execution, mm, worst plan ever executed. But that's only because at the very last minute, I decided, okay, we are going to just rewrite the entire marketing scheme right before I leave on vacation. And I know this is stupid. You're like, listen, to this. you're like, wow, MX is an idiot. But it's really because um, I just needed a, um, I, I didn't want to have to explain the complexity of the previous marketing scheme. 
but if I would have done that, it would have resulted in a product that probably would have sold a lot more. Like it was engineered to sell all the units, but that wasn't a, I, I saw it, that's not needed. Really, anyone who's saying, oh, I'm not buying it right now, stop it, stop. You can only, you can only please me so much. Like the tool isn't made to be virally bought because people are gonna look at this and be like, I'm not polymodeling, good. That means it's not for you. That means you've been brain rotted by someone else, but uh, I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that. You thought, hey, he's gonna come out with another bullion tool, another easy street, right? And uh, of course, I should have. I should have come out with a way that makes even worse meshes even faster and be like, hey guys, become the fastest, worst modeler this side of the. I don't, I'm from Texas, I don't even know anything about these damn rivers. Uh, I just say, from this side of the Pecos River. Um, but I see a solution needing to exist. And I see that, um, you know, people are going to be needing jobs. And as a result, a tool for that, I think, would be of more value in this day and age. And, you know, hate it love it of course you're gonna hate it um hey you're gonna really hate it if you've never worked ever like yeah this tool is so stupid like why would you make a tool for working it's like but working can be cool working can be so cool uh but you know we got to get there right like we got to get the foundation down like someone on the forum is already asking me they're like hey 3d coat <laughs> like yes sir now now we're talking all right like what 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 kind of filling are we talking about? Because it's a filling. I'm searching for a filling, guys. It's not even a function anymore. Like back in the day, a maybe. But now I just need a filling. Like I need to fill something. Like because the world's so hollow now, I feel nothing. So we need a tool to make us feel again. You know, a little bit of that Doctor Strange love, except that was P Diddy in an episode of It's Always Sunny, so we can't even reference that joke anymore because you know. He's uh, getting his own cancellation or not getting cancellated. I mean, P. Diddy's kind of immune to it. I was talking to a friend the other day. They're like, yeah, I'm throwing away my P. Diddy record. Like, look, P. Diddy P. did you uh, P. 20 years ago. All right. And it doesn't matter if you sell P. Diddy's records or whatever. Like, P. Diddy done P. did that. All right. And you were bopping his music when he was in the studio. P. doing that. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry about all these P. jokes. Um, I mean... <laughs> Hey, we're talking about P. Diddy here. There's even more P. jokes that could be made. But, yeah, it was just a funny conversation. It's like, yeah, I'm throwing away his records. It's like, well, why even bother? Might as well, you know, put him in the attic. You're saying you're always going to remember his crimes. I mean, maybe we should, you know. I've been wanting to rewatch House of Cards just because I love Claire Underwood. I think she's, uh, like, the perfect wife. Um, just because of her ability to uh, help... Um, the other Underwood like really conspire and do his like darkest desires even though they were like things that he probably shouldn't have been doing but she assisted him with like his dark desires like and that is a that's a good wife and so I've been meaning to rewatch the show just to understand that again because I'm probably twisted I'm over here talking about like a corrupt wife in a tv show being the greatest woman ever but you know we're just we're just talking but you know I always think about I always think about Claire Underwood don't tell my girlfriend that all right also think about uh, Tyra Banks too, but you know Claire Underwood. She just played a good role in the TV show, but you know uh, the who Kevin Spacey. You know he's coming back from cancellation, so it's like wow, people just walking back. So is Cosby going to do another special? Because uh, that's what you do when you come back from cancellation. You you put out a special. I'm not saying I would watch the special, but I would analyze the special. You know, I'd be like, what is Cosby on here saying? And I'd be like, oh my God, Cosby is being funny. Put him back in prison. You put him back in prison right now. You let this man come out and be funny? Because, I mean, what if comedy is the secret to getting over um, cancellation? You're like, sorry, you can't cancel me. I'm too funny. That's not me, by the way. I will never say, I'm so funny, I can't be canceled. I'm actually so unfunny, I'm cancelable. They're like, yo, MX in this last video... He was not funny, and as a result, he's being canceled. But I was hoping for that. I was counting on that. 
like seriously, I was hoping to um, have people be like, he said this word, but really, generative AI, I don't even know how to get over that, because I have to tell everyone who has an issue with it, like, hey, we lost, we lost, and that's why I'm back to work now. That's what got me back to work, is realizing we lost. I was like, wait, we're, we're just, we're, we're not going to win this. Um, we just have to get back to work, guys. And I know, I feel bad just saying that. You know, you're watching this, you're like, but why model? It's like, because we still have to live, guys. We're still humans. The robots are not going to help us. The robots are going to replace us. Um, I, I want to start a book club just where I talk about book reading because books are just where it's at. I'm not even saying that like an intellectual douche because uh, I'm not. I'm saying like we as humans need to analyze the past and see how they dealt with sci-fi and automation and fears of it in the past because the answer to the future lies in the past. I always say that. I say that about everything. Like they're like, oh, Blender's about to go critical. Blender's about to be killer. Uh, and like you know right now they're creating a giant add-on DRM server um, if you don't know what DRM is then uh, we're about to find out not to be a doomsday sayer but I mean you know and that's the thing too is in the blender community uh, we're kind of used to a level of uh, inherent exploitation I think and so I, I got over AI really fast compared to commercial people uh, when it comes to commercial people, uh, I'm sure they were like, you know, I'm even more exceptional. So it was very hurtful. But to me, I just... Blender has like this thing called the implications. And I talk about them all the time. And they're just things I've come to live with. Like, for example, if I make a product, that code can be reviewed and the code can be studied. The person can read it like the Wall Street Journal. The implication, though, is I can also do that to them. So anyone, uh, you know, if someone's like, hey, I'm reading your code, I'm like, why, thank you. I'm reading your code too. You know, it's not supposed to be an insult. Uh, you know, who cares about reading code? Be glad someone's reading your code. Like if people are getting into the Pythons and your tool's helping them get into the Python, then, you know, you've, you've done something maybe greater than the tool itself. Like, I can't wait to reveal my ambitions with making Insolve get people into the Pythons because that is like a major part of it. Uh, one of the things that was scrapped on the development version was the ability to use custom scripts as part of a preset. Like when it was removed, I was very mad. I was like, put that back, put it back. You, you killed my dreams. Look, my dreams is to get y'all in here making blocks like uh, hard ops was us making all the blocks on in the world and we're gonna do that still we still want to make blocks I just want to make blocks that matter if the blocks are existent if the blocks are easy if the blocks can be made by you then the blocks don't have to be made by me we need a million blocks a billion blocks and the system of blocks I mean it doesn't matter even if um, the tool this tool uh, gets taken out by blender updates or like some sort of other critical business because you know it's something that I was worried about all the time when it came to hops cutter I'm like oh man blender's gonna take it out on this day and you know it's just gonna be terrible and you know that's just a reality we've come to live with and this tool I, I hate to say it it's baked into the cake if the tool completely dies if the tool completely dies it is a low level idea able to be reborn that's how i see it now so it's a different type of idea than the previous ones like hops if hops gets killed we have to rebuild like a million things uh this thing i just want to obsess with the system that it's built with um and when i am obsessing with only that it will be just lovely it'll just be lovely because I see a base, like I see a base that once we make it, it will be a rock. And you know, all we have to do is perfect the base, perfect the stage, because I've received so many complaints over time of people being like, I hate this, I hate this in hops, I don't like this part of the queue menu, I, I wanna be able to customize this. And I'm like, all right, all right. Someday, I wanna be able to deal with those requests. And so, you know, when people are like, I'm not amused by this tool, I'm like, all right, well, the next person will be they'll they'll realize they'll be like wait you're dealing with the complaints of hard ops in an experimental fashion hey i gotta get in on that hydra boys assemble um 
like I do believe in it. Like I believe that when we start really dealing with the complaints that people had uh, on the hop side inside of this, just with workflow and fluidity and permanence, uh, it will it will make a lot more sense because the goal is to make it where if you have a way that you work, I no longer mess that up. You update update all day. Just load your config. If you have any bone to pick with me, your config should be that bone. Like, yo, my config don't work anymore. It's like, oh, sir, what have I done to your config? Uh, that is more serious. Like, the functions themselves, the blocks, they just need to do. They just need to do. And they can do here, they can do there. I mean, I don't want them to be in a format that's like, you know, and this is at the level of care, or at least the level that I care. I don't want them to be in a format that's only exclusive to inflow. I want the concept to be able to be populated with blocks in any form that is made. Like uh, right now, tour mode is just tour mode. I mean, someday we might have to release inflow viewer. Uh, that's just a viewer mode of the tool where you're able to just use it with configs, just jump in, you know, there's no blocks provided by us because that's obviously within the scope of the tool, but users will be able to just hand the configuration off to people and they'll, they'll have their own, like, this is my, I don't even want to get into it because this is really the uh, nitty gritty, but I want people to share that experience with people like, um, you know, and have it uh, like my design is to have it forever, like forever, uh, not until we die or until it gets taken out. Like I, it'll just be baked into the base. You know, if Blender decides, hey, we're going to just assimilate everything into Blender. Thank you. Uh, you've granted me immortality, bro. And I can live with immortality. Uh, and immortality just means I don't have to think about the mortality of the freaking tool all the time um, and stress about it. You know, I talk about getting up every morning and testing the tool, like first thing in the morning, like it's because the mortality concerns. Like, um, I know that, you know, the foundation's got some, um, we'll call them dark plans cooking. And, you know, I'm watching them. I'm watching them and, you know, it's all baked into the cake. You have to bake it into the cake. Like Blender is a very unique program. You know, um, people are just like, oh dude, you're just talking about tool nonsense and it ain't nothing like it ain't nothing to make a tool but it's very jarring to wake up and your tool be dead and to not know how it will come back to life like it's just i'm so used to it now that it's nothing it's nothing to have it happen uh in fact now i'm like it didn't happen this week oh boring they didn't kill us this week mm -hmm. maybe one day they'll show us who's boss uh I just, of course, I don't want them to show us who's boss. They are showing us who's boss, and I'm telling you, they're building a DRM server to show us who's boss. And I'm not saying it like, oh, guys, we got to go with pitchforks and stop it. I'm saying, like, just think about what that means and how you will survive such a thing and what that means for your concepts because I don't want any tool to die. You know, I think I said in a previous video, like, I have zero beef now with... Um, the former uh, contestants of the uh, Boolean Wars because the tools have lasted so long on all parties that, you know, I believe in their passion. I believe in everyone's passion. Like, um, you know, I wish Rudy and Wazoo well. And I hope that they are doing well. I hope their tools are doing well. You know, I hope that in my absence that uh, hostilities died down where they are able to live and grow into their own without having to even think about me or be in my shadow or in whatever case would happen. I'm not trying to be that way in people's lives. I'm just a guy, all right? And I'm, now I'm back to uh, reclaim all of Retapo very slowly. By the end, all of Retapo will be mine. Uh, all your base will belong to us. Um, whatever meme you want to insert there, Mr. Editor. But yes, uh, big ambitions for the entire thing of topology. Like, I mean, I look at Topo and I'm like, ooh, there's so much this needs. So much. And it's just, I'm not able to uh, do it right now, but everybody's looking at other programs and they're coming back to me and they're like, hey, that is a feeling. I want that feeling. I'm like, oh yeah, feeling, huh? The soul, huh? You just want the soul? The soul, huh? Look, call me Azriel, because I will reap some souls, bro. Um, 
but if you're wondering, hey, how come he hasn't put out a major update yet or like uh, done something crazy as far as progress goes, it's because of the agreements that I had with everyone. Like, hey, look, I swear, I swear on my life, okay, that if you do what I ask, I will not come back with a request next month. And I'm trying to stand by that because it's very hard. It's very hard for me to be like, hey, can you do this? Hey, every time you report a bug and I have to get it fixed, I'm like, ooh, it's a little, a little excuse for me to squeak in a little, uh, little request, just a little bit, just like, hey, can you also, while you're in there, just a uh, little, little, this right here, just a little, increase the product's value by, you know, 35 cents. Um, like if you look at it and you're like, oh, this product is not my, it's not a value to me. All right, that is fine. That is fine. My heart won't be broken, won't be broken. Like, I did not think, you know what would be crazy is everybody bought the tool. If everybody bought the tool, I would um, actually have to do a video saying, please do not buy the tool. Y'all are running another plan. Like, the plan isn't for it to sell. It has to sell bad. It has to because it activates different uh, angelic casts. So, you know, you're like, what is he talking about? I'm saying before this tool came out, I was like, listen, guys, baked into the cake are conditionals meaning this tool cannot fail listen there are levels i'm willing to go to to ensure this works levels that you will not like all right i will pull up the rolodex and call unscrupulous characters to make this dream come true if y'all don't get together like i will call in the worst people ever if i have to because all that matters is the goal. And that sounds terrible, but it is. All that matters is the goal. And I need that. Like I need the goals. And I know people who, they could be such a asset to the goal because they're acquainted with the goal and my goals, but also they would uh, possibly be a toxic entity. So um, that's also a part of the implication. Like I said, I can, open the dark Rolodex and start writing up apologies and we just get to work and we start making the greatest tool you've ever seen ever and you're like wait greatest tool ever dude you can't use words like that greatest tool ever to me like my goal with this tool is that I am supposed to smile and I told that over and over and they thought I was joking I was like listen if we can if I can smile while pitching this tool, customers will feel it. They will feel it. They'll be like, yo, hey, this guy's up to something. You know, you get someone smiling and just loving life with a tool. And right here, I want to bring this edge down, but we see that edge is just overridden by vert so strongly. And I think that we should have a wait for that, but I think about that all the time, about how vert at the top of the list is able to overwrite edge so strongly unless we get zoomed in. So that, that's all that's all under fine touches. Like there's a different person assigned for fine touches. Uh, fine touches are every day. Every day, touch it, touch it, fix it, touch it, fix it, touch it. Every day, every day, it has to be touched uh, and improved. Not, not in a uh, Michael Jackson sort of way, in a uh, this tool no bugs, no bugs, no bugs, or it has to be perfect or I'm telling my dad, all right, not to, um, <laughs> I love that joke though, it's, it's just funny, I, I should watch Sin City and then I'll stop making the joke, I think I meant to do it last time, I made the reference and I did it, so let us just enable and we still have much more to do. From here. And what we want to do is, I'm listening to a version of Resolution Re Resolution Revolution, which I love this song. Um, if I may reiterate on the tell of what broke me when it came to AI is, yeah, one day I was very sad. I was just like, guys, my dream is going to die. It's going to die. And it never even got a chance to live. And I was like, really down in the dumps about it. Like, I just got to show how much I care about things that probably shouldn't even be cared about because I'm a 
uh, shyster fraud, right? Uh, so I don't really uh, care about these things. I'm just pretending, right? But I do care. I care enough to, <laughs> it will ruin my whole day to be told, like if I'm told all day, like this is what, what hell is to me. Hell is being told, yo, that idea, never done, never can be done. It's like, wait, never? It's like, yeah, in fact, that idea, we gotta, we gotta send that idea to Mars. It's like, wait, what? It's like, yeah, we gotta get that idea out of here because it's a dark plan. It's not a good plan. It's like, oh, and we're just sliding this edge just over here. Um, not the best choice, but you know, we're just having fun. And this part is a doozy. This was one of the first parts I did and I started solving it privately. And then I realized, wait, I should solve this on video because if I solve it privately, then I have to solve it twice. And I don't want to do that. Um, I mean, as I'm solving it now, I'm like, dang, stellar. This asset is a doozy, bro. Um, I gotta look at the assets I'm asking from people. Like, I'm already trying to get, um, uh, I'm trying to think of what's, what name to use. What was the proper name? I guess we could say Varsov. Um, yeah, I've been trying to write Varsov, ask them to uh, basically buy an asset to stick inside a tool. Like, the goal is to stick to assets in the tool to solve that are made by famous people in the community. So you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm solving so-and-so's model. And we just solve it and we talk about it, the commercial value and we start setting up a commercial marketplace to start selling these assets. I mean, uh, I don't know if I made the joke between how much this gun is worth right now compared to when I picked it up. Like when I picked it up, it was a $5 gun. $5 gun, if he's lucky, like $5, get it out of my face. Like seller, I'd buy this gun if you gave me a tutorial of how you built the gun basically in its initial version now the second version that we're doing that's all cleaned up maybe it's worthless to you but i'm going to put it up on the marketplace for a different price because it's not worth five dollars anymore i've done like too many videos about it and also i'm dealing with controversy um which controversy is such a weak word because it doesn't matter uh, all people can do is just get mad at me and then punish the dream itself um because of the implications um which doesn't matter because it's baked into the cake like if you come at me and you're a hateful little gremlin then yeah it's baked into the cake i'll bake that into the cake i'll bake y'all solve you too to quote ruheldra but you know i'm just talking smack but some things i've just discovered just are inevitable like they're just unable to be they're immutable they're unable to even be controlled their situation is just beyond control or and uh, that's my problem in life is I try to control things I can't control like topology um, but I have confidence I have all the confidence in topology that's why I'm talking so lofty because it hasn't changed it's like the same thing as it's always been and the problems that we aim to solve I mean I'm really thinking hard about in suite because in suite isn't to solve topology you know, in suite is to basically um, just solve problems and it creates problems to solve problems. And that idea is so radical. It means that basically I got a free ticket to add any idea to the tool under the guise of problematic solving and it can live. So, I mean, in suite is uh, just a lightweight troublemaker is what his goal is and i just haven't got a chance to really accentuate on everything and also we look at the uh, helper we have in solve in suite in flow this is going to have like 12 modules by the end 12 stupid modules 12 modules that you'll probably never use um you know you might use most of them you might use some of them but i will be jumping between them all so you know if you're thinking, wow, MX isn't using a lot of inflow, well, what are you going to do whenever there's 12 modules? And be jumping inflow into a micro moment and then jumping into insolve for a uh, macro moment and just be doing such large moves. But I'm telling you, the tool that you're going to want to stick to in this is going to be whatever tool gets the magic wand. So if inflow gets access to the magic wand when it's a thing, then you'll be having to use that. I mean, the final version probably won't be wand. The final iteration of the solver will probably be what will upgrade to magic wand but to solve topology right something of that sort is going to have to exist and i know this is like nonsense to be hearing in a video you're just like wow mx is just a lunatic but we're just talking about casual road mapping right now like really what are my plans what are my 
dark plans with this tool like yeah I'm gonna put in some crazy blocks but first we got to solve some basic systems like I don't want people to be writing me support issues when we're already focusing on module number three that's also why I really need this thing to be stable now or I'm telling my dad who will say boy what you talking about Jay I don't know nothing about that y'all ain't got no computer over here that's what you'd probably say um, and I say it in a loving way, not even <laughs> knocking him. Tell you, like, um, when I saw he had a smartphone, my dad, I started jumping up and down. Uh, I was like, are, are you, you're, you're, you, do you know how to read a missed call? Are you going on YouTube? Are you going on YouTube? Are you listening to music? Because that's how country it is where I come from. It's just the most amazing development to hear that my dad has a smartphone, that he has missed calls, and he manages them. I mean, you're probably listening to that, you're like, oh, my mom's like 10,000 times smarter. I'm, well, good for your mom. And my family, hmm, they ain't like that. I'm like the smartest dummy in my family. Um, but still a dummy. And speaking of songs, I've done so many other musicals that I haven't shown. Like, I, I don't want to show some of the other ones because they kind of talk about my life. But I did this whole musical about how I got fleeced by a car dealership. And they fleeced me so bad that, like, my girlfriend couldn't look at me. And they called me, like, male impotence. Uh, I was just being facetious, of course. A car dealership's not going to call me male impotence. But they did fleece me very good because I was being impatient. Like, I, I went to the car dealership and I was trying to get a car. And this is a long time ago. But they were just like, yeah, you want a car today? Well, let's fleece you right now. And, you know, I was being told by buddies. They were like, hey, what you do is you leave the car dealership. I was like, you leave it. Look, I'm not trying to take this car. I just need a car. What do you mean I have to leave the dealership? This is getting stupid, man. What do you mean I have to leave the dealership and play this, like, girlfriend game with the dealer? So it, it made me mad. And as a result, I've done, like, a whole musical about that. So, I mean, I'll probably uh, put that in at some point where I just talk about the uh, dealership fleecing me because it's funny. Like, they want to see me all the time. They're like, hey, you, let's change your brakes. I'm like, hey, you're lucky if I buy another car from you. I hate getting fleeced. I hate getting fleeced. And even worse, I hate it when I'm made fun of for being fleeced. Um, you know, anytime I show my car to someone, they're like, oh, I like your car. I'm like, well, let me tell you. They ripped me off. They fleeced me. They, like, showed me a lesson. And it's funny now because it's like almost like over like the, the car payment and all that and I'm going to Warren Buffett it meaning I'm not going to get another car like when hops first took off I was driving a Challenger and that car was like slipping and sliding in the rain and that was like very scary uh, like not even funny like uh, my, I'm very big on not risking my life at all I'm also very big on not risking things I care about so um, like when, when things first took off with the tool, uh, the first thing I did was basically <laughs> get my girlfriend out of her, out of her job. Uh, you know, I ruined her, um, because I just couldn't bear the thought of, um, you know, her basically getting pinned to a tree by a car in an accident, uh, over like $300 a day. It's like, listen, I will work like a dog. I'll work even harder, uh, than I have to. You know, if that just keeps you at home and not like on the road where 800 idiots are there and one texting mom could basically end you, end your whole career. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to come there. I'm going to sound like a jerk. I'm going to be like, so this lady killed you. Um, so I have to kill this lady. I mean, you know, just assuming like, I mean, I'd be very mad if um, the person I care about was uh, pinned as, in a car to a tree. I'd be like, wait get her unpinned we have a show to go watch like i'd be like honey uh salisbury steak salisbury steak I'm, I'm, I'm fatty i still always think about salisbury steak in fact if if um if you ever made your way into my life via visiting me just know that i would uh, probably try to serve you food i mean not bad food but i mean my hobby is now cooking i see that like cooking is important and my mother died without teaching me her cooking skills so as a result uh, I'm having to learn from other people, and hmm, it's just something I think about all the time. Like, I um, always ask my woman, I'm like, are you learning how to cook from your parents? Because I do enjoy their cooking. Like, they're very good cooks. It actually makes up for a lot of things, but yeah, they're great cooks, and 
they're her parents are still around so i'm like are you gonna learn from them you're gonna pick up a you know how to how to make some gumbo because you know a little weekend gumbo hey you keep a man with that i mean only serve me the gumbo all right only i get daddy's gumbo you know um, if people are co making comments talking about daddy's gumbo i know that you made it this far in this video but if you're not making it that far like and that's because topology is boring to you then i completely understand i completely understand like this tool is almost a response to those who were commenting all the time saying mx i missed this video i missed your dialogue come back because i kept getting comments of it and if i came back and people were like actually i'm not glad you're back first of all that would be funny that means you trolled me but also that would uh kind of suck but i'm also a um I got joker problems. I see the humor in everything, even things that aren't funny, like terrible things. Like, it's just funny to me. Let's uh, get rid of that, and we'll place this loop here, and something like that, and maybe something like that. I'm just looking at it, just thinking, you know, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. But yeah, in Blender, there's like these implications, and... It, 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 uh, it definitely deters lesser souls, and I love that. That's, like, my favorite part is that, you know, people are like, well, I don't want to do this if that's the case. It's like, you should do it because that's the case. It just makes it easier. It just makes it easier. You, you know, uh, the, the clause I always point out is, you know, you can just randomly die, right? Like, you can just die now, um, and someone will be able to pick up your work. Uh, just because of the way that the rules are, just because of the implications, and these things are important because me, I care a lot about preservation and things living. Like I, that's what I care about. I've realized that in my absence, I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm still very much in love with all the tools that I'm very much in love with. Um, in fact, I'm afraid to even do a top ten on my favorite tools because uh, half the tools that I would be loving aren't even enabled on this computer, but. They're still the same tools. You know, all I need are the greatest tools ever to remain stable and not die. Easy, easy request, right? Easy, right? Mm. It, it isn't when, when cells are declining. So, you know, to weather a, a tool and to carry that ship, like to make that all the way for a long period of time, you gotta be able to survive some up and downs on the cells level. And these are things that also I think are just they'll never be talked about because why would you talk about uh, being in a cell slump or like doing bad or like having to you know there's a point in my life I was actually preparing to brief people that hey guys AI is going to end us and um, I don't know how um, I don't know how I'm going to live with that alright so I'm not saying uh, watch out for me or anything because I will blast you alright but you know, uh, I, I see the writing on the raw wall and I'm going to accept it. All right. And I remember giving the speech to everybody and they were just like puzzled. They were just like, you're tripping, right? Is this a stick? <laughs> because I'm always joking, right? They're like, I'm like, no, I'm saying AI is disintegrating everything. Everything is melting. And as a result, guys, we must prepare goodbye. We must prepare it. We must prepare our goodbyes. Uh, and I still have plans for it. I mean, not good buying, but um, you know, in the event that I have to leave everything, then everything's like prepared. Um, just because it's like a dark world now. And everything's, like I said, everything's baked into the cake. Everything's baked into the cake. Like the ending is baked into the cake. All I have to do is just drive too fast and the ending will be activated. You know, I just drive too fast and hit a turnstile or whatever get destroyed but it won't happen so we're looking at this and the other side is just atrocious and I'm just thinking how will we deal with that you know do we clean that up too uh, probably we're just having fun here and in case you're wondering why uh, videos are removed it's because um, you know I gotta have patreon content so some of this content, I'm like, oh, you know, it's a little uh, much for YouTube based on the complainers and haters, but patrons would love it. They're always wanting me to uh, do more. 
uh, that's the purpose of Patreon is to do more. So if, if you're complaining in the comments, uh, just know that you're giving the patrons comment uh, content and they're probably into it. And we'll just slide that there. But yeah, I see so much content able to be divided just based on how people handle it because people are like, yeah, you talk too much in this video. I'm like, oh man, Patreon exclusive, baby. Hey guys, this is an eight hour deep dive into me talking excessively. And then also there's the uh, product playlist, right? Like these videos aren't entirely all to sell the product. Uh, some of them are just to just show me having fun. And that's the main goal. The main goal is to get to the part where I'm having fun with the tool and to demonstrate how I can have fun with it. You won't have fun with it, but I will. And that is the real thing I want to convey with the tool is that, you know, there is fun able to be had. And every lesson is, you, there's something to take away from and learn, unless you have been taken over by the pessimism that uh, has taken over this world. And then of course, you're not gonna see nothing. You're not gonna see any value. Um, like uh, if I may uh, throw in more Blender humor, like sometimes, um, you know, when I see people being very toxic in, in Blender, my first thought is, wow, that person is a Blender master. <laughs> like, and that's, I know that's probably terrible to say, but it usually is the case. Like usually the longer that you've been using Blender, the more uh, let down you are over time by Blender doing all these damn movies and working on things and then moving away from things. Like, you know, I make jokes about half measures, but you know, Blender will do a movie, work on a feature based around it and make it work for the movie and then the movie will come out and that feature is just no longer even like a topic of discussion. And it's not a bad thing, but it is a pattern. It's a pattern I've noticed that this has happened and you know, you're like, like what? And you know, I'd have to go double check, but it's not like I'm actually thinking about it 24 sevens, but oh, I guess Global Illumination. Global Illumination was uh, one of those things we added to Blender Internal during the Centel movie, and it was sounding so nuts in the release logs and looking very nuts. And I mean, I guess, is Blender Render even still an engine? Okay, so Blender Render isn't even an engine anymore, so it doesn't matter if um, it can handle Global Illumination. I mean, it probably can, and look, here I am ranting. The goal is to not be uh, directly ever disparaging about Blender. Um, I always want to talk about it in a, um, you know, a loving way because my goal isn't to deter people from Blender. My goal is to bring people over to the B. Like if you're serving the orange, a hey, we're on the same team guy, uh, unless we're not on the same team, but I serve Blender and my goal is to make sure that, you know, people are coming over to the program, that the program's shown in a good light. You know, I never want to be like, oh, this is why you shouldn't use Blender. Uh, mm, that's, that's one reason, but there's a million reasons why you should use Blender. But how do you express that to people? Uh, especially when there's so many people that are willing to say, you know, you shouldn't use Blender because of this, or this, or this, you know, it's just everywhere, so. How do you deal with that? Me? I just call it rain and move on. You can't win them all. And we're just looking at this, just thinking about how we're going to solve this. I mean, you know, I just like creating messes and cleaning them up. Don't think that I'm just some terrible modeler. I mean, you can, but really it's about just how we can solve problems. Like for example, we do a Triforce here and that's a something like that. And we're putting a loop here, a loop here, and a loop here. You know, three loops, two loops. Two loops is enough. Three loops is too much. Like I said, two loops, too many. And for this side, we pretty much got it. We got one, two, three, four tries, five, six. If we want it to be pedantic, we can get rid of them. But look at this part. This part is a doozy. And that is why I had been dancing around it the whole time like a coward. So, and also I look forward to getting past this. Like, I mean, really this part has been a uh, lesson in signing up for something I didn't fully uh, anticipate. Like this mesh is a, um, is a barn burner. You know, I don't even know what term to use for this, but yeah, this thing is 
intense. But that's fine. It has to be easier. It has to be made easier. That's the uh, details of it, right? Like, you've watched me through this for nine parts. And this part's going to collapse thanks to subdivision. That's what I'm taking away from it. And we don't want that. So we'll need to grab this here. And one thing I love about Insolve is uh, being able to just grabbing the areas I need on the right side. And I'm still thinking about this uh, secret detractor situation. It's like, dang. Hmm. I want to turn into Darkside Phil, right? Darkside Phil, uh, he had detractors that became its own community against him that became like lol cows. And it was just a funny situation. I think their name was like Sons of Kojima. But it was like a hate group that got so obsessed with hating Phil that they just became like their own thing. And the guy was named Fred Fox. And... He um, turned out to be a bit of a brain cell. Uh, so, you know, you got to watch it with that sort of stuff. That's why I'm always thinking about it because I'm always watching different online communities. And I'm like, well, I laugh at other communities. And Blender also has its um, share of hilarity. That share being me. Except, you know, if, if I'm trying to be any personality over in the Blender world, I want to be Mr. Medicare. Like I want to be laughing at things and pointing it out, pointing out how funny things can be and how much funnier things can be. But to do that is to uh, invite a higher level of um, comedy to the blender scene. And I don't want to do that. You know, y'all don't want me to become Mr. Medicare. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it'd be super funny because uh, we'd just be talking about the, um, we just talk about 3D things. But I definitely have big plans for this return back, so I don't think um, cancellation will work for me. Um, I was told like, hey, um, your views aren't gonna get as many views anymore because you're offending people. I was like, oh, wow. Uh, was it because I said the N-word? <laughs> uh, and it wasn't. It was over to generative AI. I was like, wait a minute, I could say the N-word? And that's less bad? I was insulted. Like, wait a minute. This is... That's racist. Alright. I mean, and I say that in a joking way. Like, that's racist. Like, the little black kid. Like, uh, not, not a... I'm an SJW type um, who's crying about such things. You know, we're just, we're just making jokes here. Having a little fun in our modeling content. You know, because the hotkeys are so streamlined... We don't have to talk about hotkeys like we used to. You know, what am I gonna say? I press control R, bro. Look, if you're needing those tutorials, there's like a million people teaching Blender 101. I'm trying to definitely get to the pro level and bypass all the um, basic beginner talk, which, I mean, we could talk beginner stuff if we need to, but it's no longer uh, part of this thing. Like, um, you know, if you are a beginner, we have tools for that. Um, if um, the price is an issue, then yeah, we also have tools for that. Um, this product solves it in the SKU line. And I'm, I'm actually happy about that too, because you know we do need a premium offering. I just need it to perform like a premium offering. It has to be perfect. And then we can start talking about what premium offering means like to a tool, like what it means to make a tool uh, a little more premium. Doesn't matter, um, you know, I'm probably preaching to a pirate. Uh, yar, yar gotta do what you gotta do. And that's another thing, like, you know, I don't even wanna get started on that rant, but I mean, if you're, if that's the level you're down to in life, then yeah, you probably also need this tool too. Uh, I look forward to you getting the tool, getting to work and, you know, making some money, you know, get in and feed that Borg, baby. Feed the Borg, the Borg is paying you know they they need people to tra they need people to train from. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be the person they train from. Like I always joke that there's gonna be a future where people are gonna be mad that AI didn't choose them for scraping. They're gonna be like, dude, the AI didn't scrape me, man. Like I I I, I should be scraped. My work is so good. I should be scraped. 
or they'll be mad that uh, their name doesn't show up when they uh, run it as a prompt, which is crazy. You know, I show people AI, and sometimes the first thing they do is they'll search their name. They're like, "What? What is this?" I'm like, "Wait, you think AI knows you, you individual idiot?" No. It's, hey, look, and I guess that's the way I introduce it. I'm like, "Hey, here's the sum of all human intelligence. Show me something." You know, and people are like, "What color is blue?" Seriously, it's like the AI thing. So, me, I just had such a different experience with it. Like I always say, I was tormented by it. Everybody was tormenting me with AI because the whole time I learned Blender, I'm like, get out of my, get out of my face. You don't, you don't use Blender, get out of my face. And so whenever people saw like, oh, AI will equalize everything, people were tormenting me. I was just getting tormented uh, with, with just art of red ninjas and just like characters and OCs it's like, yo, I'm part of your club now, right? Like, I'm part of the Blender gang? I'm like, dude, don't go near Blender, and don't go near my people, and don't talk about AI to them. Um, which is which is funny. And just over time, that view had evolved, because I saw that, to the average person, yeah, the, the offerings are so basic. Like, they're gonna need to know so much. They're gonna need to be enriched immensely. And... You're like, what does that mean? I, I'm talking about, we gotta get in and read some books, guys. We gotta get in and read more fiction so that whenever we're uh, in front of AI, we're not like, give me a white stormtrooper wearing a black helmet standing in front of a dark leader who's, you know, like, just cliches, guys. That's all I'm saying. We gotta break the cliches. And so in my personal life, I'm working towards that immensely. Like, I'm trying to do that through like creative exploration. Like I don't want to be a cliche machine because that would suck. That will mean that when AI does get its stuff together, I will also be um, a basic loser. I'll be like, yo, give me big white armor, uh, scary dude. You know, you'll just be, I, I watch a lot of people prompt. I think that's where this rant comes from is I watch a lot of people prompt and you know, people don't want to share their prompts, right? And it's because uh, everybody's all basic and cliche. They're like, I want something like Batman, except like maybe without the billionaire beatdown complex situation happening. Like, we must, the story in our hearts, surely the story in our hearts are a little more complex than that. And so I'm preparing for that future. It won't happen today. Probably won't happen in this life. I'll probably be dead in a hotel room in a naked hooker avalanche. Uh, when it happens, but if I'm not, then yeah, I'm going to prepare for that future. I'm going to prepare for a future where when I ask for an idea, that idea comes from like somewhere a little more deep. Like there's so many books I read that just really changed me, like on the sci-fi level. And people keep asking me that. They're like, hey, is this why you screwed up now? Is that why you're a weirdo now? It's because these books you read? I'm like, no, 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 no. Look, they're just books, man. I'm just trying to learn better stories. So whenever I have to write a story, I'm writing a better story than Dark Man walks into castle and fights giant monster, you know, like, and these are based off of the reflections that my buddies send me back. Like, they're like, yo, can you check out my thing? I'm like, oh yeah, what'd you make? And they're like, oh, it's a big dude walking into a castle on album art and the album's about just being a crazy edgelord and just having darkness in your heart. I'm like, tell me more. You know, I'm, look, I'll buy the CD. So it sounds like a good CD if you ask me. Uh, how edge is he? They're like, yo, he's all the edge. I'm like, all the edge? Ah, oh, yes. They're like, yeah, the sword of darkness made him darker. He just got darker, and his soul got darker, and the world got darker. I'm like, all right, how dark? He's like, uh, you know, like, look at you. Look at your skin. I'm like, what? Yeah, that dark. Like, oh, that's too dark, buddy. And I'm yellow. All right, we've got to lighten these stories up. But, you know, I've, as a result, I've realized that, you know, AI might be an equalizer, but people won't, won't catch up. We have to evolve. We have to evolve. Um, and, and it's even worse for the kids. Don't even get me started with that rant. But, you know, the kids are just screwed. They're screwed. In America, they're screwed. The teachers, the teacher's going to be the next job. It's just going to be vaporized. So... You know, me playing with music, I'm also uh, experimenting with education, like what it takes to uh, deal with information retention in the brain. 
And I mean, I don't know how many other people are exploring such things with AI, but if you're able to make a song so catchy that people are able to learn an entire tool, remembers its functions, and they, all they have to do is remember the lyrics of the song, I don't know. I'm just experimenting. But, you know, people are saying they're clocking out. Hey, I got MK Ultra plans. Like, people are like, I'm not learning the tool. Oh, yeah. Baby, baby, I got you. You're about to learn so much tool. I just got to strap you into a chair and put these clamps under your eyes. But we can totally get you learning. All right. Also, I say baby like honey child baby, not like... Um, becoming a gay lord or anything i'm just being um jokey here all right don't i have to apologize for everything i say now or or i don't apologize for everything you know i don't want to be i'm not a unapologetic person i care about people's feelings and this is where i get gamed by people they're like you care right you care i'm like yeah i guess i said i cared in the past so yeah i guess i have to care i have to care so let us care But caring is, uh, you also have to care. But I do care. I care about so much. Like, I, when this thing is together, I want to focus on the education. I want to focus on how people learn it. I want to focus on where it's being taught, how far it goes. Like, this thing has plans. And, you know, if you're getting in at the 23, one day that will become a thing. I'll ask you. I'll be like, what number did you get in at? You'll be like, oh, I got in at 23. I'll be like, ah, uh, yeah. You believed me when I was still spouting madness, all right? You believed me when I was spouting madness, you know? I mean, the other people who get in later, they'll also be just as valuable, but the number matters. Like, people who are getting in at the 23, the holy 23, the 23 knights, the knights of 23, the knights who say, knee 23 times, no, I'm playing, but I care. I care, and I'm watching. I'm looking at it like, ooh. These people believe. These people believe before I even have anything to show. Like, the tool is just a prototype. I cannot wait to begin showing what I'm talking about. Like, when, when all the gears are reactivated, work continues again. But I just got to give it some time. So, right now, this is the phase where you should be throwing me everything. You should throw every kitchen sink request ever. And if I say it's on the list, <laughs> it's on someone's list. Someone's about to get a list, a list of, a list and a sack of what I call goblin gold. All right. And that's my new strategy too, is, uh, you know, um, this is a weird place to throw it, but if you are weak money, strong Python, write me, write me, write me. All right. Strong money, weak Python. That means you got the arm, the Python, the 28 inch pythons, but you just, um, and I have a few people in the inbox that I'm working with. So, you know, uh, you might receive a duplicate of a task, but I have plans for this. And, you know, these plans are never me by myself. You know, I must always stress that I'm not a coder. You know, I always tell a team. Uh, we had this big argument a long time ago where uh, we were just talking about the whole DCSS chip complex of the tool. Because to say things like, I made the tool, one cannot say that one one would like to say that but one cannot say that and the reason they cannot say that is because uh the tools have gone through so much work that to say that is to undermine eight million repairs done by people who did not receive glory and that is very selfish it's selfish to do that and um i really am considerate of that so you'll never see me um credit the whole thing to any single party because it's like a myriad of people. It's like so many people that it's like difficult to even keep track of them. But it's a Theseus chip. That's what I call it now. I'm like, you don't even know where it begins and where it ends. We don't know whose part is whose. I mean, I guess the root idea can always be contributed to the person who messed it up. But, you know, when it comes to these bugs, you want credit for these bugs because... I'm talking about bugs a lot in videos, so if you're trying to use me as a resume for how great you are, clean up these bugs. And I mean, that's why it makes, you know, talks about how great you are will just make me mad because there's too many bugs. Clean these bugs up. You know what? If you are so great, the product should be 
hundred percent complaint free. And the alternative is to, you know, just be a little humble. If you're humble, then you're good to go. But humility is, um, you know, these, these things are tough, but it is a um, topic of discussion had often because it's easy to claim ownership over something when it's successful, when it's already a success. Like, yes, I did this thing that's now successful. It's like, um, I was waking up at five o'clock in the morning to work on this. So when you hit a tool with a me, mine sort of complex, yeah, these things get, uh, they get toxic. They get toxic. So just a little uh, off duty tool talk just thrown in here at the end. You know, I like to share insights as far as uh, what it's like on my side of things because you're probably like, what's this guy MX do? He doesn't code. It's like, oh yeah, I do everything but code, which is actually like a million jobs. A million jobs. But I do enjoy not coding. Uh, the gist of the joke was to get to basically that I will get offended if, if I've called a coder. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm a salesman, you guys. I'm a salesman. Uh, you could call me a strategist, but do not call me a coder, all right? Because a coder can't be a salesman. And that sounds crazy. Coders gonna listen to this and be like, damn you, I'm gonna go out there and be a salesman. But the more intimate you are with the code, the more difficult it is to explain it to people. I'm finding, like I have things explained to me now and they're just so intimately connected to by the parties involved that they're unable to pitch it to me properly. Uh, instead, they explain it to me in the form of, you know, what it's worth and, you know, how great it will be uh, as a system to have um, without fully uh, expressing, like, the reasons why we should undertake so much work that uh, one mistake will make everyone regret the idea in the first place. Um, and in this case, I'm talking about drawing systems. Like, we're always talking about improving the drawing. But the thing about drawing is, if it works, there's no need to talk about it anymore. And I know that's not even fun to hear. You're probably like, no, we want more drawing, but drawing has been through so much in Blender that I just want it to work. I just want it to be stable. So if I get a comment that's like, hey, this drawing system is too much. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. It's like a po point of pride because the system shouldn't even exist, but it does. And as a result, we now are looking at a very fine drawing system but what we are looking at here is a bunch of geometry burnt ends getting dissolved right here I was actually gonna do a video yesterday talking about how I was in a good mood at the start of that day because when I went to get breakfast they just gave me free food when I went and I was like blowing the guy up he was like trying to hook me up and I was like this order isn't $34 like normal and so as a result, he's like, can you, can you go park in slot one? I'm like, but what about the order? If my girlfriend doesn't get her portion, she's going to be very mad when I don't let her eat my portion. You know, these are things I concern myself about in the morning. Like I'm telling you, I'm so concerned about like things that don't even matter. And something like, something like this. And we'll just select those two and just make the connection happen. And we'll get rid of that edge and just take a look at what we're getting. And we are making short work of this part. Like this part is a little bit of a doozy, but why even convert it, right? Like why even convert it? It's just, I just look at it as a way to increase the worth of an asset. And of course you can debate with me in the comments like, hey, I would buy this asset, I would buy this, I would buy that. Of course, that means it's not for you. Thank you. Uh, you know, whenever people say things, they are data. They're data to somebody. And I, I look at things as that. Like, if you're like, you know, I hate you. I hate your content. I hate that you did this. Uh, yeah, that's hurtful. But also, data. Thank you for the data. Data can be worked with. Data can be managed. Just like um, Gumroad gives you data on what area of the world is buying your product, you can get data just from everything. Uh, even people being ugly. So the fight continues despite, um, and I see that now I see that like, if I let myself be discouraged by negative comments, 
uh, it does give me an easy way out because I can just be defeated and I can just sit and wait for ruin again. Um, and that was boring. It was just boring waiting for ruin. It was boring to even be in the mindset. So I have promised to not fall back into that. Like, I mean, I still don't have the opinion that there's like hope for the world, but also, um, I, I'll, I can live with that. Let's, let's look at this. This one loop just needs to go. And this loop needs to go. And that flatty can become a try. And we just give that a connection. And we're just we're just having a little fun here. We're just modeling. Just waking up. And this song also is what we call a banger on the streets. Only to, only to me though. Like I show my friends this and they're like, yo, this is the worst thing I ever heard. I'm like, thank you. Um, it's supposed to be, and I know, I keep saying that, and you're like, wait, what, what do you mean by that? But, it's because, like, I listen to a very different type of music, so all the music that I'm generating is, like, the music I used to listen to. If I were listening to the music I listen to now being generated with AI, I would be so sad. Like, if I started hearing, like, some of the most, uh, stunning orchestral duets sang by just, I, I am seeing it, though. I'm seeing AI create, like, beauty. And I know, I, I'm sorry to say that. I'm so sorry to say, like, hey, AI is creating beauty. Not in the art realm. That's uh, garbage. And that's why I haven't done any videos using uh, it on the art level. Not because I'm hiding it or I'm being secret. It's just that um, I, I'm, I'm, I, if I'm going to teach people to work by the book, might as well uh, start having y'all do some uh, concept art by Creature Box. You know, we start teach y'all how to follow some real image images because... Uh, I just don't see AI at the level yet where people will be impressed for you to ref it in your portfolio as an image. I mean, maybe it can be, but you know, every time I look at it, I'm like, this part is worse than a concept artist. It's made up. I might as well just follow someone's concept art so that way I can make fun of the art to them. Be like, yeah, this part where you scribbled this crazy detail? Yeah, I modeled that scribble. I mean, sometimes it's kind of funny to model someone's scribble and be like, yeah, I modeled your scribble. I did that. Like uh, one of my favorite concept people to have done had the opportunity to do work for was uh, Alex Jones, or no Anthony Jones. Sorry, Alex Jones is the um, Sandy Hook didn't happen guy, uh, the conspiracy theory. I know who Alex Jones is. Of course, I live in Texas. Also, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Um, just not crazy anymore. You know, the limit of conspiracy theories stop with me as far as I can deal with them. Like the moment I realized that, oh, this is out of my power, or oh, this is the shadow government doing this, or this is uh, these people, you know, this is big chicken, you know, controlling this. Um, the power's all gone for me because I, I can stress about things that I can control, obviously. I can, I can stress about them so good, but things that I can't control, get out of my house. What, what am I supposed to do with that? You know, if the world is flat, if the world is flat, I can't afford to sell around the world and find out. But maybe someday I can. Uh, I saw Vitaly do a trip across Iceland, and my thought was, wow, I gotta copy the Lord. I must copy the Dark Lord. I mean, I would have to buy a motorbike and all this stuff. I'd have to give up my life. And who knows? The tool would have to be very good for that. I'm just thinking about how I want to handle that and you know knife is a better approach because knife can just start from wherever and the other one join uh, would start from a vert and that's one of the big differences like uh, when whenever we have arguments about just make join knife or make knife join I'm like no join is join knife needs to be knife and don't ever make join into knife because users will get mad being so glued to a single point when they start so look at this, we're just having fun. You know, me having fun is that, to me having fun is just going, getting in, doing a little bit of cleanup. Just, I know, it's like nonsense. It's nonsense, it's like, why would you do this? All right, now I'm listening to another version with uh, Cthulhu selling the tool, my favorite version of AI music. Uh, I think everybody should ha be listening to music of Cthulhu selling their tools. Um, you know, what I had this plan to do like a 
add on a verse and I'm probably still gonna do it just because the world just needs people just doing things like I'm just gonna pretend I'm dying so I'm just gonna execute plans based on uh, the fact that we're all just dying and the world's dying and there's just zero hope like we just gotta do it because I was looking at plans and I was like I'm just gonna give up from now on why bother Everything's going to just be taken. Everything's being scanned and put in a Borg. Any man can just go up to the Borg and say, hey, can I just get what that guy just had? And I mean, I'm not even getting stuff from AI like that. So I, I use AI like a um, person studying it, not literally using it to solve my life. I just don't see that. I just don't see AI being that, being that handy yet. One day it will. I mean, when I started seeing it on everybody's smartphone, I was like, ooh, this is, um, this fight's over, ain't it? So, I mean, when people are like, yo, I hate generative AI, it's like, well, I mean, it's on your smartphone now, so we got to just accept that, you know, everybody's using it, and that it's just a matter of time, and you think that power concerns are the thing that's going to stop it? No. Um, they're going to figure out how to get it to run on smartphones and with phone processors and when it's able to run on a phone with a phone processor then the power concerns aren't a thing anymore i mean you'll have to charge your phone and that's just a whole other talk i'm not trying to get and become a ai evangelist or anything but i just don't see a need for resistance i just don't see it being resisted against because the next generation they're just going to look at it as a tool to assist them and so they're just going to just have it it'll just be like autocorrect it's like we should train kids to not use autocorrect. It's like, dang. Uh, if we can just get kids thinking, hey, that's 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 what I'm really worried about. I'm worried about just people not even thinking anymore. Like it's like, dang, kids kids are failing school. Like, and I say this, and you, I'm, I'm gonna sound like an idiot for saying it. Kids are just failing school. Like they're just failing school and you're like oh yeah of course they're failing school no no they have ai and they're failing school like they are literally choosing like dude school's unimportant it's like what this is like some of the biggest stuff i concern myself with and think about is like when uh someone when someone says my kid is failing i, I just I, I just i try to get at them like hey 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 so no cheating no cheating because i mean to fail is almost a, a depressive thing. Like, why would you fail? Why would you not cheat? That is, I mean, and that's a weird thing to say. So I gotta get permission from the parents before I say it. I'm like, why would you not cheat? And that is when you start getting some of the real sad stuff, like the nihilism, the, it just doesn't matter. Like, who cares? Like, and it's like, whoa. Uh, I guess I used to care, but it was because I used to get beat um if it didn't work out so you know i guess the stakes are lower than ever and so, so the stakes are so low that people don't want to read people don't want to math people don't want to learn it's like wow this is you want to talk about the problems in the world we're going to have to deal with that we're going to have to deal with that because you know people are just going to fail and they don't even care they don't even care that part just it just trips me out so we're looking at a part that is now complete. I've managed to talk the entire time because I have problems like that. And now that we did that terrible part, terrible part, this gun is on its way. And also the topology, uh, I don't want to say it's on fleek, but you know, it's looking pretty good. You know, hey, we will grab this, place this here, and we will just let that rotate. And that is the part that we cleaned up. So let's take it in local mode. And we solved the inside and the outside. That's how I felt this morning when I woke up. I felt so good. I solved the inside and outside of a mesh and didn't even think about how to solidify it and uh, save my effort or any of that. I just got in and did that. So, I mean, did I earn breakfast? Maybe. Am I going to have breakfast? Maybe not. I'm probably going to run into the next recording. Actually, I got frosted shredded mini weights. I got frosted shredded mini weights, guys. So... If you ever think, yo, MX is rich, MX is ballin', well, I do have frosted shredded mini weights. I also got like a quart of a quart of milk. So to me, that is rich. 
Like, so if you were like, yo, MX is rich, I'd be like, yeah, I guess I am. You know, I got cereal and my milk isn't expired. My milk doesn't smell funny and my bread isn't hard. So I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You know, the electricity is on, the AC is all right. I got the fan. I had to put a cylinder fan in my office because this computer is overheating. I think I'm going to take apart the computer today and reapply the thermal paste because it's just been giving me the business. I'm just looking at the clock and just talking until I hit a certain time, which is one hour and 40 minutes, and then I'll be out of here. Sorry for all the extra talking, but, you know, this model has just been me just BSing and meandering and just talking and having fun. You know, I hope that y'all have been enjoying it. With that, I will end this video, and I'll see you guys next.